Revolutionary Talk for Revolutionary Times. Promoting peace, liberty, and prosperity around the clock. LibertyTalk.fm. Welcome to Living the Solution with Dr. Elena George. Today I have a special guest, someone I'm looking forward to speaking with, who's been a guest on the show before. We're going to speak with Ms. Mandara Cromwell. And before the before the last show, we, we talked about how sound is so integral to our health and to our connection with, you know, with God. And I wanted to revisit that. And specifically, I wanted to talk more in detail about the modalities that she's created, uh, specifically cymotherapy and the AMI machine, which it's one of the things that I use personally, and I think everybody needs to know about because it's, it's just such an, I can't even describe it. It just, it's about health. Honestly, it's about how we connect with our cellular structure, how we feed what makes our body work. And, and I think Mandara would say sing. And as a physician, I'm not really happy with our healthcare system. I think it's gone in the wrong direction where it's all about masking things and taking medication just to put you on another medication. And I've said this for years, but now it really is more poignant. I see people coming in on more and more medication, but they're sicker. So it seems to me that we're going in the absolute wrong direction and it's time for us to make a change. And one of the things that we can do is to listen to our bodies and sound is one of our senses. And I think we spoke about it in the last show, but sound is, I think it's how cells communicate. It's how we communicate with each other. And I want us to understand that. So Ms. Ms. Cromwell, I want to thank you so much for joining me today because our show is a part two, but I think it's just as timely with everything that's going on in our healthcare system. Thank you, Dr. Elena. It's great to be back with you, and I always enjoy our conversations. I am so appreciative of physicians and healthcare professionals like yourself who are looking for new and maybe old ways that can really work for bringing people back into what we call in my world, a type of healthy resonance. And it's really very exciting because there are parts of today's science that the the researchers are actually looping back to confirm what we innately know already, what is prevalent in nature. And these are our aspects of sound. As a matter of fact, just recently, I think it was last week, um, there was an article released on uh, a neuroimaging study that it finds the brain works like a resonance chamber. Isn't that fantastic? Anyway, what they find in these fMRI readings is that the brain has particular patterns and we can explain those by correlating them to standing waves. And these are analogous to the modes of vibration in musical instruments. So I think it's really fantastic that they, whether they know it or not, are confirming that all that was written in the ancient text that we are musical instruments. We are hardwired for sound. And that sound brings us back into a state of healthy resonance when we surround ourselves with those very special um, sonic environments, like in nature. When we're in um, walking through a forest or, or a garden or a golf course where we're really relaxed and we're absorbing those sonic vibrations that we're exposed to. And it really alters our heart rate, our respiratory rates. Um, we just really get into a, a nice state of communion with Eventually, we're so calm and we're in a meditative state, we are reconnecting with our divine self. And I know that uh, you have probably experienced this with some of your patients who have really 
developed a aspect of their health regimen to take some time every day to either listen to some nice music or to calm themselves through a a short meditation to really harness the natural environment to engage in this dance of health. I think that we can look at the the mathematical formulas, not to get scientific, but what we find in nature that math is everywhere. And we look at the beautiful flowers, particularly this time of the year with the the flowers that are are, are coming into uh, to bloom. You know, we see the the petals and the leaves, and these are all based on what we call the golden mean or the the golden ratio. And this is a natural communication that we understand at a deep innate level. And uh, so anyway, it's very exciting that um, science is now bringing us the research that says, yes, our inner knowing is confirmed scientifically. It's very exciting because it means that there is, you know, something that a standard, honestly, from a cellular level, from an, an organic level, Every living creature, I would think, not just humans, but animals, plants, etc., can thrive in. And I've spoken with some, I think, pharmacists about how medication actually has energy associated with it as well. So if you're talking about a, an organ and having it, and I'm sure we'll talk about it after the break, but an organ having a certain resonance and you taking a medication that perhaps is out of sync with that resonance, would that make sense that some medicines don't work for certain patients or they're not really fixing the problem, but they're just kind of, uh, I don't know, uh, tiding you over? Is that a way that you could think about it? Absolutely. And, you know, there everything is frequency. This is the law of vibration. Uh, we live in a sea of frequencies. Uh, everything has its own vibratory rate. And when we get down to the pharmaceutical level, they are addressing just one aspect of the discordance. So the liver may be out of tune, but it could also be the gallbladder has an impact on the whole symphony as well, or it could be the kidneys. And so when we take a a drug for just one of those organ systems, it pushes the sound or the sonic alignment to a, a, a different tempo for the rest of the organs. And that's kind of how I explain when people say, well, I've tried this pharmaceutical and that drug and this therapy, et cetera. And there were some side effects. So, and and I know that many people have, um, have, you know, consumed pharmaceuticals where maybe it helped the initial problem, but then uh, a side effect was created. And so what we are looking for in sound, and this is what I do with creation of my devices, is to broadcast a whole expansive sound um, quintet that can bring the whole organ system back into a sonic alignment. And then how that sings with its sister organ which in this case, the liver would be the gallbladder. If we're we're speaking of Chinese medicine, they are paired together or the lungs and the large intestine. We need to keep everything in a, in a type of balance. It's very important that when we're in balance, the body of course is operating at its optimum, but when there's a little bit of imbalance, rather than taking a, a, a really big sound, Uh, say just one chord to address that, we really need to do something more gentle and provide, shall we say, a whole buffet table of sonic nutrition for that organ system to come back into alignment. Well, let's take our first break because I want to go into more detail about how you've 
you know, discovered these different uh, sound frequencies in order to help map out the what makes an organ healthy and what each individual organ is, because it's fascinating, because it's a way to do this in a very comprehensive and thorough way, and not what we do in 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 the East, you know, Western medicine, kind of wing it. So let's take our first break. You're living in the solution. Welcome back to Living the Solution. We're speaking with Miss Cromwell, and she's created uh, cymotherapies and her her uh, modalities, AMI machine. And prior to the break, I wanted to go into more detail because you mentioned something about a quintet of sounds. How did you how did you arrive at the various modalities for different organs, and specifically the sound, the healing sound frequencies? Because it's a fascinating story. I um, started out my life in um, Ayurveda. And uh, so in this particular uh, medical system, which is uh, the oldest that still exists today, they um, look at the body, not only the physical body, but also the subtle bodies of the emotional, the psychological, the spiritual. They look at the whole picture as opposed to just one little aspect, which is kind of where we're at with Western medicine. When we go to see a physician and we say, you know, I have a a tummy ache, they're only addressing that. They're not looking at all the other systems, you know, what types of stressors are happening emotionally, psychologically, environmentally, et cetera. And so we'll fast forward a few decades. I um, met a British osteopath Uh, And his name was Dr. Peter Guy Manners, and he was the last living member of a collaborative group of scientists and researchers who post-World War II were researching what we call biosignatures. What are the healthy sounds of all of the different parts of the body? And so I will tell you that I was past the baton. I was past this body of work. When we look at this body of work, Um, We see all of the organs and the organ systems have specific audible frequency sounds. And so the liver, for example, has five specific frequencies that it is in harmony And the same way with the pancreas, the same way with the gallbladder and the kidneys and uh, et cetera. And so I tell people it's like having a very special quintet for that specific organ system. And I use the analogy of a buffet table. So if we go to the buffet and here we have an opportunity to imbibe this sound, this sonic nutrition. And there are five beautiful dishes and they represent the five specific frequencies for example, the liver. And your liver may like, uh, feel very hungry for dish one and two, and maybe a little bit of five. And my liver may really be attracted to dish three and four. This is, it's not that we don't need all five, it's just that we're absorbing more of what we're deficient in. So that's a very simple way that I can share of how the frequencies work. Because we are all very similar, most livers and most hearts and most kidneys vibrate at pretty much the same frequencies. That's how we can go in and absorb just the frequencies that we're deficient in. So what I do uh, after I uh, worked with Dr. Manners for several years and he passed the baton, I figured out a way to layer these frequencies for a effective, a uh, quick response. And so I've created 30 minute protocols that people can come in and um, have a session for stress relief or pain relief. Uh, We have a very special protocol for the respiratory system, which is uh, great since uh, 
recently we've had this pandemic and a lot of people are really challenged with their respiratory system. So that's a really great protocol that a lot of people are using right now. We also have uh, protocols for the digestive system and the nervous system, the immune system. We have a great a uh, 30 minute protocol for vitality for people who just can't get out of bed and really need a full energy sonic broadcast to absorb. And um, so I've taken these frequency patterns and created this body of work to help people. And when it boils right down to it, Dr. Elena, it is about mathematics. And as I indicated just a a few minutes ago, we have mathematics in nature. We are wired for mathematical formulas. And the temples and churches, many times the architects are using these harmonic mathematical formulas to harness the sound and vibration so that when we go into these architectural structures, we are immediately aligned. And it's because of this vibratory rate that they've created on mathematically uh, mathematical proportions. So when we find it's kind of that um, like associates with like, we're attracted to that. And so when we find a sonic vibration that we really relate to, we fall right into it. Just like when we're taking a walk in the forest, when we're taking a walk in a beautiful garden, It's really so logical when we stop and think about it, that sound is prevalent everywhere. And if we just surround ourselves with those vibrational imprints that support us, that's the key. You know, when you think about this, this is such an, you talk about, we talk about individualized healthcare, individualized treatment. This really is the essence of that. I mean, because you're able with this, modality, everybody who gets, the tank gets filled in a way that the person needs it to be filled. It's plastic in a sense, right? Because you may need it a different thing depending on what's going on in your life or what's going on in your body, but it's not the same. It's not absorbed the same way. It changes depending on what the body needs. It's almost like it it innately understands (laughs) what it needs and it, it takes what it needs. Is that a way you can see it? Well, that's exactly why I named it Acoustic Meridian Intelligence, because um, AMI, uh, acoustic, meaning the sounds, and the meridians, the sound travels the meridian pathways, which are superhighway conductors, and it travels to the places where the body innately knows that it needs it. We are such an amazing creation. Our creator is just phenomenal in that our bodies know exactly, we don't have to think about it, that our bodies know exactly where the sound needs to go. And we've seen this in many of our clinical observations where people will say, you know, I came in for uh, hip pain and it addressed all types of other issues that I had previous in my life, everything from scar tissue of, um, you know, cesareans or, or, or um, other surgeries uh, to other fractures or other areas of the body where there was um, pain that had lingered for uh, years. And then it finally resolves the, the pain for the reason that the person came in for. And this is so apparent in that the body is intelligent to take the sounds or drink up, absorb the sound where it really needs it first. It's pretty, um, pretty thrilling (laughs) to, as as a, a, a clinician, to observe people in their stories telling, uh, of (laughs) this trajectory. So the body is very intelligent. You know, I've used the machine uh, myself. You know, we have something called referred pain in in medicine where you can have an issue. Uh, Let's say I'm an ENT, so people can have ear pain when they have something going on in their their voice box or their larynx. 
and it refers to the ear because they same they share the same nerve pathway. So I've had knee pain, then I've used the machine for inflammation, and I've had pain in other places. Like it, it should have been the knee that was hurting, but it I felt it somewhere else. And after I finished my treatment, the knee pain was gone. So I can say personally, I've felt the difference. You can almost feel the neurological pathways respond to the treatment. And, you know, we're going to take a break in a couple minutes, but I wanted people to understand this is not an invasive process at all. It's about the sound penetrating the skin. It Can you just start off our conversation about how that that vibration is able to literally sink or penetrate the skin just from the sound wave itself. Like you don't have to do anything. There's nothing inserted or there's no needles, nothing like that, but it's extremely powerful. I've made it as easy as I can <laughs> for people to use it because I actually create the devices for myself. We're all in a hurry. We're, uh, you know, have so many things that uh, we, we want to accomplish in our short lifetime. And taking care of our body, mind, and spirit is, you know, really number one, because if we're not well, we can't do the work that we've come here to do. And the sound is very gentle. I've created a device where you can comfortably sit in a chair, place your feet on this platform, and it's a very special transducer that uh, emits these specific sound frequencies transdermally. And yes, there's no... um, uh, no inconvenient uh, pain or uh, it's very relaxing. And most people um, say that their first session is extremely relaxing and uh, feel like having a short nap afterwards. And so that's a, a, a really good sign. But the sound is very gentle and it is uptaken through the body through what we call the superhighways of the meridian pathways. And this is sort of like the circulatory system if we were going to bring it into the physical body. But there's also an energetic system, this whole communication network that is absolutely fascinating. And there's been a lot of research to actually prove that it does exist. And uh, I can share that uh, information if you like. Sure. Um, Let's do that. Let's take our break and then go into more detail on that. So let's take our second break. You're living in the solution. Welcome back to Living Solution. You can read about Miss Cromwell's machine and her history on uh, cymatechnologies.com. Is that the correct uh, website? Yes, C-Y-M-A technologies.com. Now, before the break, Mandara, you were going into more detail about these highways or these pathways. I just wanted to explore that further because, again, this is not something that's, it's, it's science. We're talking about pure science and about being able to see it and and map it and actually see clinically what you're talking about. Absolutely. And it's very recent uh, that from all sources throughout the world, researchers, um, we can see what they are calling the meridian system. Uh, There are French researchers that have identified, and you can actually watch this video online, of they find the meridian system now with the high technology cameras in the fascia system. And then we have the researchers from the Orient who call it the primal vascular system. So they are seeing it also with their technology. In the United States, uh, there was a researcher at uh, University of California at Irvine, Dr. Joey Jones, and he actually started out to disprove the meridian system back in 2007, 2008, 2009. And, you know, sometimes (laughs) when people start out to disprove something and then they find that it's actually valid, they become the the biggest proponents of the their research. So let me explain to you a little bit what Dr. Jones did. 
on the lateral side of the foot, there are acupuncture points that relate to vision. So if you went to an oriental doctor and you said, I'm having this vision disorder, it is highly likely that they would use acupuncture or stimulate those points on the lateral side of the the foot, the outside of the foot uh, down by the heel. And then he took through fMRI, he was going to measure in the occipital region of the brain, the registration of light shining in through the retina. So imagine this, he's taking a little light, uh, shining it in the eye and uh, through the retina. And yes, there it is. It shows up on the fMRI in the occipital area uh, of the brain. Then he also stimulated the um, vision points way down on the foot, the lateral side of the foot, and there it was. It also appeared in the uh, fMRI scan uh, in the occipital region. The very interesting thing is that when they measured the time it took for the light that was shining in through the retina to reach that area of the brain, it was 0.250 milliseconds. But all the way down on the foot, it reached the brain in 0.000007 milliseconds. So there we see it proven that this is a super highway, super conductor, super messaging system that our creator has set us up with uh, throughout our whole body. And so this is the meridian system that has been around for 5,000 years or more. And now we have the validation that it actually works. So when I was first working with Dr. Manners and all of the frequencies, he, I had designed a specific uh, device for him that was sort of a, a model next evolution of what he had been using for a few decades. And so it looked like a box with an applicator attached to it. And so you would need to apply the applicator to the body, and then you would need to code in the specific frequencies. It was quite labor intensive. So when it came time for me to develop new technology, then I was trying to figure out how could I get this technology to more people. So many people need help. And if we stayed with that same model where somebody had to really make an appointment to see a physician and the physician had to go one by one, each of the codes. And, and you know, there are too many people for the, for the doctors to see, to, to be able to get this out. And so with my background in uh, Ayurveda and Chinese medicine, I knew about the very specific portals that are on the bottom of the feet and also in the palms of the hand. So I had this idea, what if I could use a, a specific sound transmitted through the bottom of the feet? Could it indeed penetrate throughout the whole body? Could it speak the whole energy system? And so when I was researching this to, to prove that it worked. You know, a lot of times in my research, I have this gut feeling. And I know other people out there listening to this, you also have had experiences where your gut tells you, yes, this will work, but yet you need the validation. So I contracted, uh, I used thermal imaging to validate this particular aspect of using sound. And we had people come in for weeks and examine their lower extremities. And these were people who had all types of neuropathy, nerve pain, leg pain, sports injuries, all type, whatever happened with their lower legs. I was looking to see if there would be a change before and after the application of the frequency patterns. Now, the reason I was looking at the legs is because I had already had a study published in 2008 proving the efficacy of using the applicator 
on the lower extremities for peripheral artery disease and peripheral vascular disease. So in trying to come out with this more easy to use device, I was using that as my guideline. Could I indeed match the efficacy? And voila, it worked beautifully. So now we have this great device where people can use it effortlessly. And it it is very gentle and easy to use. And um, we have 30 minute sessions that At the end of the 30 minutes, people feel very relaxed and many times the pain uh, begins to mitigate and um, people are happier. They tell us that the the things that used to give them a little charge, (laughs) you know, those stressful relationships didn't seem to be as stressful any longer. It's amazing how that connection between uh, things that block the meridians or the emotions that trigger, you know, my, I've read about people who have emotional traumas ending up having disease states that are based in it, whether it's female issues or cancers that develop in organs, like let's say the liver, if you have anger issues, you know, it's all about moving this, these blocks out, right? Because energy is, it changes depending on what you're thinking, what you're saying, who you're around the environment. I mean, we're getting it from all sides now, from the media, from our loved ones, from strangers. How do you not take all that in and you just keep moving, but it gets stored, doesn't it? It, I mean, this whole fascial layer uh, that that encases our organs and encases our body, it's a storage area, isn't it? I mean, so things that are toxic just get dumped into this this part of our bodies, this system. And I imagine it it's one of the things that caused it to go off track and having the ability, not even you doing it, but just putting your foot on this, on your machine, having it moved for you, having it be balanced, actually on a level, on a cellular, on an energetic, on a spiritual level. I mean, there's nothing more powerful than that from what I can see. Congestion, constriction, these are all uh, words that we use to identify the, the narrowed or the blocked pathways. And, you know, when we are stressed, whether it be physical, mental, emotional, um, spiritual, we are not operating to our, our optimum level. I equate this to a river. As a matter of fact, the meridian system uh, in, in many analogies is um, compared to a river. So we want to keep the river flowing freely. And every now and then along the river, it gets, there's a buildup. Maybe the beavers have come in and they've decided to build their own little home. And when they kind of section off some area in the body, we could uh, equate this to like a tumor. And just like the area where the beavers kind of create this stagnant pool, then the water no longer is refreshing itself. It's no longer moving freely down the stream. And it's the same with, say, a sports injury or a tumor or these condition. This is what the body does to try to wall off or protect itself. What the sound does is it relaxes that area. Um, There are some therapies that when a person is really congested, they um, kind of blast them with a a major detox. And unfortunately, this is um, can be a little intense. And the person can say, well, that didn't work at all because I got sicker. I felt worse. And the beauty of the sound uh, from the AMI device is it works very gently. And so we're taking those pieces of of wood that the beaver has, you know, created its little um, walled off area, or we're taking the part of the body that it has in order to cope created this little wall to, to, to wall something off. We're relaxing that. And I have some great research I'd like to share with you. And this was done with a, a colleague of mine where he took blood 
And after it was exposed to the AMI, uh, we have a special frequency called cell regeneration that's in a lot of our protocols. And he took just that particular frequency uh, set of, of five frequencies. And by measuring the blood after it was exposed to cell regeneration for just 20 minutes, there was an increase in cell viability. The, the, the membrane of the cell became more elastic. The, it was like the, the cell took a big breath that it hadn't been able to take for a long time. It relaxed and it increased this viability by 365%, which is phenomenal. And here is a bonus. We saw that it also increased the oxygen in the blood by 15%. And this is just really fantastic news. Here we are working with a audible, non-invasive sound where people can just relax and absorb the sound nutrition. So it's really very exciting to, uh, to be working with this and to be able to offer it to people and help them with their health. I can't even tell you how powerful that is. Oxygen is the key. It's, it's an anti-inflammatory. It's, it's the essence of life, right? So when cells get older and they die, their ability to take in oxygen and to repair themselves is affected by their lack of oxygen. And especially now we have respiratory issues and the oxygenation of cells when you have a respiratory problem is a major, major issue with cellular health and how you recover from disease. So let's take our last break because I think You've done a wonderful job of laying out the foundation of why this modality is so powerful. And personally, I really can't think of a medication that can do everything that this machine can do that you just described. So let's take our last break. You're living in the solution. Welcome back to Living the Solution. We're speaking with Miss Mandara Cromwell. And the fact that you can see this, this is not something... From a science perspective, it's amazing to actually see this in real time and to see cells become more vibrant, to see viability, and to see the fact that they are revived, especially when there's disease state, because that's the problem with Western medicine. We don't seem to want to fix the problem. We don't want to seem to go back to use the baseline or the, the theory, which I think is true, that the body's self-healing. And if you give it all the things, all the building blocks it needs, it can do a wonderful job of resetting itself and recovering. And from what you just described, this is such, as you say it, and we'll say it again, it's such an easy thing to do. You put your foot on a, on a platform and you just let it work. I mean, from the standpoint from practitioners, how is this playing with Western medicine? I mean, this is a little outside the box for most doctors. But I would think that doctors who are more aligned with whole medicine where they're treating the entire body and not just giving a medication and writing a prescription, uh, this must be an a, extremely powerful weapon in our, in our arsenal. It is very exciting to hear a uh, medical professional placing a AMI device uh, in their office. Some of them place it in the waiting area. Because it is so easy to use, it really just takes a initial informor, informational um, sec session by uh, a staff to say, just relax here with your feet on the device. And, you know, <laughs> I have to say that a lot of people are uh, a little anxious when they come to see a doctor, you know, their respiratory rate goes up. They're like, oh my gosh. <laughs> and, um, uh, so it's important for the patient to be as relaxed as possible so we can get the th those readings of blood pressure of uh you know blood work and and all of the things that that happen at a doctor's office. So to have a, a device that relieves stress is a huge help to uh to the patients. 
And there are some offices who are offering IVs and uh, whether it be a therapeutic, um, a, a, you know, like a, a vitamin C or vitamin mineral buildup IV, or uh, perhaps it's a, a, a pharmaceutical type IV, putting the needle into an arm is anxiety producing. And so, uh, and then also, you know, the, the veins constrict. So there are a lot of offices that are using this before they um, actually have the, the IV because it relaxes the blood vessels and uh, it, it's a much more pleasant experience. But I think in general, we are moving uh, more and more physicians are looking to the natural ways because it is a little frustrating when we have patients come to us who are not getting well. And when we use sound to in this particular case, we use the AMI device kind of like a pitch pipe. And I don't know if uh, you've ever taken a, a music class. I remember when I was in elementary school and uh, high school, the uh, music instructor would use a pitch pipe that we would all, you know, tune our instruments to that particular sound. So I say that the AMI device is like a pitch pipe that sort of brings all of the body systems back into a type of coherence. And we are different every day. When we wake up, some days we're feeling a little more sluggish than others, and other days we just spry uh, out of bed and and uh, feel very, very much vitality. And because we're different every day, our systems shift. And particularly when we get to the uh, change of the seasons, like right now, we're having a shift into the, um, the spring season and our bodies naturally start to shed a few pounds, you know, those extra pounds that we <laughs> have been carrying around in the cold weather. And it's a natural shift and frequency. And so this is what happens when we align or, or, or tune ourselves to, uh, to sound of sonic vibration. And in this case, we're, we're talking about the, the AMI device where we can t- tune the cells to their, their next tune, get back into a type of uh, sync, singing their song as a total choral orchestra. It's the ultimate in in prevention, isn't it? Where you you bring something into balance before it becomes an issue. You literally help your body help itself. From the standpoint, I just wanted to make sure people knew you have so many different programs. You mentioned some of them to, for the cardiovascular system, for the neurological system. You said also for the immune system. What are some of the other modalities that the machine offers? The um, uh, we have a channel for vitality that is for people who just really are having a, a difficult time with their energy level. And uh, sometimes these are people who can't get out of bed. Sometimes these are people that say, well, I feel really great for the first few hours of the morning. You know, I, I fall off energetically, you know, at right after lunch and I just can't get my energy back. This is a really great protocol for those types of, of issues. And it really begins to, you know, regardless of, of what the crux of the, the issue might be, whether it be uh, hormonal or, or um, uh, emotional or, you know, various um, stemming from from other types of, of energy patterns, the vitality protocol is is just really a great all round protocol. We also have another protocol called anti aging, and everybody uh, loves that one. What it's actually doing is it's based on the five elements of Chinese medicine and tonifying the five major organ system pairs. And so it goes through each of those organs like the the liver, gallbladder, the uh, heart, small intestine, the um, kidney and bladder, et cetera, all of those five systems and just tonifies them. I remember as a child, every um, spring, uh, the equinox, the solstices, my grandmother would come out with a little tonic and we would all take that every day for three days. It's kind of a reset to kind of get in sync with nature. And so that's a a lot 
uh, of the theory of the anti-aging channel. And then we have a great channel for uh, the digestive system. The digestive system is really key. And uh, in Ayurveda, we say that all disease stems from the digestive system. This is where we get kind of clogged up when things aren't working properly there. We're not absorbing our nutrition. Uh, we're not eliminating properly. There are all kinds of, of uh uh, things going on there. We do have a, a little uh, program that comes with this where if you would like to stimulate some of the acupoints for the digestive system while you're on the, uh, the digestive protocol, that is a bonus, but you don't have to. You can just sit there and, and uh, you know, absorb the sound nutrition. One of the things that we do recommend is when people use the device that they Put away their technology. Uh, leave your phone alone. Uh, you know, you don't, <laughs> the whole idea is to relieve stress. And so if you're returning text to someone who you have a stressful relationship with, that's kind of using the time at cross purposes. So put your, you know, computer away, put your cell phone away. Just take these 30 minutes specifically for you. And a lot of times we ask people, just close your eyes and love yourself. Tell yourself how much you are appreciating and, and loving your body for getting you through every day because the body is what heals itself. We just need to put it in its right grid pattern so that it can begin to work efficiently. And by relieving as much stress as possible, you will gain uh, far more with this sonic nutrition. Well, Mandar, I want to thank you so much for joining me. Time goes way too fast. We didn't even have a chance to talk about the Illuminate, the rose oil product. And I, you know, obviously I'm selfish. I want to have you back so we can go over that because there's so many different ways that it's not one size fits all, never is. And that you've managed to create something that everybody needs to partake with, of, and not just humans, but their pets as well. So in the few seconds that we have left, how can people learn more about the product, reach you, and if they want to purchase the, uh, the AMI machine, how would they go about doing that? Well, please visit the website at cymatechnologies.com. That's spelled with a C, C-Y-M-A. T E C H N O L O G I E S dot com. And we have lots of information there from our research studies to our uh, devices. You can find out about the devices. You can find out about uh, what we call our cymatics healing arts, which are the scarves and the oil, uh, the illuminate oil, which are infused with these very special frequency patterns. And you can surround yourself with all of these accoutrements to help you, you know, as a, a, a daily surround sound type of environment, because when we surround ourselves with the tools that help us, uh, like an AMI device or, or like a, a visual in the Soundflower experiences or like Illuminate or charging your water. We didn't talk about that yet, Dr. Lena. My goodness, we've got to share that. But anyway, you can actually charge your drinking water with these frequencies. And it is just really a, a fantastic, easy and non-invasive way to support your health. And I just like to say to all of your listeners to find ways to easily support you on your path. You don't have to change a lot, just change little things every day that support you. And uh, do remember the power of your own inner sound, the power of your own inner thoughts. You know, show appreciation and gratitude. Tell your inner self how much you love and appreciate that you are here on this wonderful planet and that together we're all making a difference in this positive light and sound environment. I think that's a great place to end. Thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to having you back again in the future. Thank you, Dr. Lena. Thank you. And thank you, everybody, for living in the solution. Revolutionary Talk for Revolutionary Times. 
Liberty Talk FM. <laughs>